all right youtube in this video um this video i want to title if you don't work you don't eat now i don't mean that literally i don't mean starve yourself i'm gonna throw that out there before um we get into it um a lot of people like to fast um fasting is okay for some people and not okay for some people everybody thinks they, they gotta fast you don't have to fast we're not really talking about fasting though we're talking about calories in versus calories out we're talking about how many calories you're putting in your body compared to how many calories you're burning let me show you something all right this cookie right here it says 160 calories is this 160 calories no let me show you why it is not um a lot of people miscount their calories so i have to point this out really quick a lot of people think that calories in versus calories out um calories don't matter and things like that and this is the reason why this is the big mistake that most people are making all right 160 calories i don't know if this is backwards to y'all or not but um look at the serving size one third of a cookie is a serving size so one third of the cookie is 160 calories there's three servings so this is only one cookie in this pack i ate two of them today 160 times three is 400 and something i'm not gonna do the math almost 500 calories so almost 500 calories for this one cookie a lot of people think they're eating 2,000 calories or less and they're eating double that a lot of people um, miss I forget how much a lot of people these these youtubers are saying nowadays, but they're right Um, the ones that are saying it not all of them are saying this a lot of people They want to give you most youtubers the thing that's getting on my nerve with fitness influencers and people on YouTube who will They do anything for views. They do anything for views Beginners are easy to fool, so it's easy for them to tell you something and you just believe it because they're on the screen or on your phone or on your TV or anything like that. They tell you this, oh, to get, how to get lean fast, how to get abs in two weeks. How many videos you've seen like that? How, how many videos you've seen burn fat overnight, lose weight in 10 minutes, two minute workouts, Um, basically a warm up. They're doing like this. This burnt all my fat. No, it didn't. All right, calories in, calories out. All right, count your calories. Know how many calories you're eating. Understand how many, you don't have to know for a T. You don't have to know all the way. You don't have to just know this. If you're inactive, you're not burning many calories. Now, I'm muscular. I had to be active to get muscular. But even if I'm doing nothing, my NEAT, my non exercise um, expenditure is. Um, working for me so you know i'm probably burning 80 calories an hour just by being muscular you know what i'm saying even by just chilling not everybody is in the same boat not bragging or boasting i'm just trying to give you an idea of what to do everybody don't have to exercise everybody don't want to exercise you can lose weight without exercise this is how to lose weight without exercise As a matter of fact i might title with that because that's a good because it is Find your maintenance calories. If you eat below maintenance, no matter if you're exercising or not, you will lose weight. But if you want to eat more calories and still lose and um still lose weight, you're gonna to have to exercise. You're gonna to have to then. So if you're inactive and you're eating a lot of calories and you're saying things like in moderation, guess what? It doesn't work just by magically saying some words. No. No, it does not work like that. A lot of people say it does, but you know, people that teach you that it does, they're if either they don't have results or they're lying to you. Yes, different people have faster metabolism, different people have this, different people have that. But it always, always, always boils down to calories in versus calories out. I don't care what diet you on or what you um, pair with that. It's calories in, calories out. If you're on a keto diet, Carbs don't make you fat, by the way. If you're on a keto diet and you're not in a caloric deficit, that keto diet ain't gonna work for you. If you're on a fasting diet, paleo, uh, low carb, high carb, fat, this and that, whatever, carnivore, vegan, vegetarian, name one. People wanna throw in, they wanna put themselves in all of these categories and they, they fly the flag for all of these things I just said but they end up having no results, but they'll argue. 
I have this argument all the time in the gym, wherever. People always come up to me, they ask me something, then they tell me how to do it. They ask me, but before I can answer the question, they start telling me what they do or how to do it. And I say something, they shoot it down. Uh, no, uh, because such and such said, I'm like, dog, how long have you been following such and such as advice? The, the definition of insanity You're trying something that ain't working And you keep trying it And then you expect different results Come on man Like come on man Calories in calories out Me and my son do one on one basketball I do walk and talk cardios I lift weights I work 12 and a half hours at my job I got two kids I got a woman All of that I got things I do on my own personal self All of that adds up to my calorie expenditure That's the calorie outside so I'm, I can afford to eat things like this two of these I had two of these today that added up to almost a thousand calories that's like 900 and some calories for two cookies you go to McDonald's or wherever most people I know when I go to McDonald's I mean probably 1500 calories or more if you're trying to do a 2000 calorie diet that's almost 2000 like dude you can only probably eat 5, 10, 15, 20, I'm going to say, I'm going to round down. You can probably eat less than five cookies of these and, and have 2,000 calories. My epic cheat meal, my epic cheat day was like 4,000 calories, I think. I don't remember. It was a while ago. Then I did my physique update right afterwards. Why was I so shredded? Because I was already cutting and I did moderation. I was eating lower, lower, lower calories every day to lose the weight, then I ate higher calories to carb up to look buffer on my, um, cause if I didn't, I would've looked flat and my muscles wouldn't have popped out as much because I was flat because I was eating such low calories for a longer time, caloric deficit. Now, the caloric deficit, you do not have to push it as far as I did, you know what I'm saying, or I do. It depends on what your goals are. If your goal isn't to have six pack abs, you just trying to lose a little weight, slight caloric deficit, two pounds a week. I see a lot of people that will start over. You know, that's another thing. Stop trying to be perfect, all right? You might have this plan. If your plan is too hard to stick to, you need to ease up. I, hit me up for advice. You, all right, here's maintenance. Here's below maintenance slightly. That's where I want you to be at. Here's where everybody else want to be at. So they can't take it, then they go away, but they, they go back into a surplus. They gain the weight back. And the thing is this, a lot of people think they need to start over. If you mess up, you ain't got to start all the way over when it comes to dieting. Now, when it comes to lifting weights, yeah, I, I recommend starting all the way over. Larry Wills broke his back because he didn't start. A dude been lifting longer than I have. He's broken world records. He's not natural, but I'm just saying he broke his back. Doing exactly what I tell everybody not to do. I'm untrained on a deadlift. So if I wanted to start back deadlifting, I ain't gonna do what he did. He did one day in a deficit, uh, well, taking it easy. Then the next time he deadlifted, he tried to go hard. He didn't do his one rep max, but he did like six rep max, or something like that, still a max. That is very taxing to the body. He knows what he's doing and he still got hurt. Why? Because he wasn't ready. You have to get ready. Comment, like, subscribe, share, holler back at your boy. If there's anything that I might have left out, um, hit me up. Anything that you might need personally, hit me up. Uh, I'm free to comment too. You know what I'm saying? I'm not a big YouTuber. I the thing of, the the benefit of watching me and asking me is if you ask a bigger YouTuber, no disrespect, but if you ask them, they got bombardments of comments. So they have bombardments of comments. So they they probably won't get to you. They probably won't get, they probably can't. It ain't that they don't want to. They can't. I can. I'm going to have like 10 comments a little less down here. So I can hit you. Hit me up in the comments.